Uh, Shalom fam, this is Crystal from God's Kingdom's Counselor. Um, the Lord has put it on my heart to um, come and talk about um, forgiveness and unforgiveness. Um, so, sorry if I'm looking at my notes here. Um, hang on a second. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, hang on a second. So, um, true forgiveness sets captives free. Um, it also sets yourself free from any burden or any bondage or anything that you're holding yourself deep inside of you. Um, because that, that is one of maintenance goals is to have, to make us not want to forgive anybody. Um, but forgiving somebody can set us free, um, physical, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, um, it helps you up to uproot anything, um, that is deep inside of you, um, as a person, um, if you forgive somebody, you, you need to try to make it right with them, um, not only for them, but for yourself, because, um, sometimes if we hold things in, it's, it's not good for us to do that, sorry, hang on a second, um, it's not good for us to hold things in, um, it ends up keep on bottling up more and more and more and more until we like kind of explode, but, um, and that's how the devil tries to trip us up, because if we're not open with it and we're always bottling things in that's how the devil can creep in and try to fill us with fear and doubt and anxiety and all these things that our mind is like constantly rolling like a roller roller coaster we are not at peace we are not humble with ourselves um so um doesn't matter if you are well it does matter but i mean hang on a second sorry trip myself up here for a second Hang on a second, lost my train of thought. Mm. There's nothing wrong with forgiving somebody and forgiveness. And if you want to try to forgive somebody and you want to talk to them and the enemy tries to hit you, remember that's his tactic. He doesn't want you to, to succeed. He just wants you to have a barrier, that wall. He doesn't want anything good because all he does is wants to come to kill, steal, and destroy somebody's soul. Remember, every time that a person tries to do good and they want to heal themselves or let things go, the enemy will always come and try to attack a person. That means because if he's attacking you, is because you are doing something good because that, that's that's always his plan he just he just always wants to attack all the time and that's why it's so important for us to be in the word and to have the full armor of God on um, he'll do anything to try to stop you from coming into the light um, there's nothing that a person could never do in life that God will not forgive you so if God can forgive you, a person can forgive you. And even if the person, and let's say for an example, you confronted the person and they don't forgive you, at least your soul is correct with God. You did was right in God's eyes. Whatever that they want to hold on against you, it would be their problem because we are all on here in this world for our own salvation we are accountable for ourselves and that's what really really matters so it's it's for us and remember God's foundation is love and humility anything outside of that is not of God um, this is why it's important to the word because when we know the word we know God's fruit whether if it be good or whether it be, be bad um, to know God's voice from Satan's voice. Um, there's a list here that I got here of um, 
God's voice versus Satan's voice, and I'm just going to roll, uh, scroll through it here. So God's voice is calms, comforts, convicts, encourages, clarifies, leads, reassures, is patient, strengthens, heals, gives, instills hope, forgiveness, for forgives, induces peace, is kind and gentle. Satan's voice um, obsesses, worries, condemns, discourages, confuses, pushes, frightens, rushes, uh, weakens, hurts, steals, causes despair, accuses, induces stress, is cruel, and is harsh. So, yeah. Um, also, thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding me that fear, fear is, equals false evidence against real means it's, it's not real. It's doesn't even exist it's just uh, the tactic of the enemy so remember that if you're any ever getting hit with fear remember that it's always the devil it's it's nothing of God because God is love God is peace he is all those things that are of goodness so um, anytime you try to do good like I said the enemy tries to hit you up um, just know that you just keep pushing forward ask God to give you strength because it is written that um, we cannot do anything without God. He is our strength. Um, also, for us to have the full armor of God, and I'm going to read it um, in Ephesians um, 6, um, 10 through 17, and it reads, Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms therefore put on the full armor of god so that when the day of evil comes that you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of the truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place with their feet fitted um, with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith um, with which um, you can extinguish with all flaming arrows of the, of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Also, Holy Spirit, when I was reading that, what was it? Mm. That worship is our weapon. Um, it is so important for us to worship every time the enemy tries to hit us through our mind, um, our will and emotion. Um, we are to put praise and worship on because if once we are settled in the spirit, then the enemy can attack us um, because God ends up coming forth. The spirit of God, the Holy Spirit comes forth um, so that he gives us the, the peace that we need and the joy and the comfort. Um, the devil hates it when we worship. That was his thing in heaven. That's why he was the head person of worship. So if we are to worship and praise God, um, the devil doesn't like it. He has to flee. He has to go. And also if you resist the devil, that he will flee. Um, so there's nothing that you can ever do that God will never forgive you because he will always forgive you. Um, I don't know if I'm, I can't remember if I mentioned this already, but if you were to forgive and confront or a person, ask them for forgiveness, let's say a man of God or a woman of God, if they truly walk with God and they are a reflection of him, they will have no problems, um, forgiving you. They will open you open, open arms. If anything, they might even be really happy about it, you know, because it's all about souls and being saved and wanting somebody to succeed in the kingdom of heaven right but um if the person doesn't want to forgive you then you know what it's it's on them you did what was right in god's eyes and that's all that matters you don't have to um what is it how we used to always think of it all the time it was um what is it it's holy spirit You're not, you don't have to be on this world to please anybody, but as long as you're pleasing God, that's all that matters. 
So that always helped me through a life um, because it, it, it's true. As long as you're pleasing God and you're doing what right, what is right in his eyes, nothing else matters. Anybody can have their own opinion and it won't matter. But anyways, I thought I'd come on here. I hope this encourages somebody. Um, I just felt led to talk about forgiveness and unforgiveness. So um, you are worthy. God loves you very, very much. There's nothing that you could have done in this world that he will not forgive you because he he is he will always forgive he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and that's why he came out to die for us so don't let the devil trip you up don't think that you are nothing less because you are worthy because of him so until then um i hope you guys have a blessed day okay shalom bye